Hello everyone, welcome to Lonely Tree Entertainment. Um, random story, and I always like to share a story when I find something to do with the two Corys, as the dogs just sneeze slightly in the background. Um, Corey Haim and Corey Feldman movies are so rare to get a hold of, whether it's VHS, DVD, Blu-ray. The mean, don't get us wrong, Lost Boys, easy enough found. Goonies, easy enough found, you know what I mean? Watchers, HMV. <laughs> Well, you know, that's stand by me. They're easy to find, but it's the rest of them. <laughs> and there's a lot. Dun, dun, dun. Probably sat in the wrong place, but I can swivel. There you go. So, that's the DVDs. The VHS is above. And yeah, um, pretty much not a lot out there for me to buy these days. And I kind of like, oh, damn, I was waiting on something. I was hoping I would have post today as well. Um, again, what I'm trying to say is with that is I was waiting on something, maybe to film some content, and I actually found this. Now, I need to do this quite quick. Because I've just been filming some random stuff upstairs in room 5 that I've made. And again, I look at this as a throwaway video. But one film that's utterly bonkers and will be appearing down the line in the two Corys. Not in the two Corys, it's Corey Haim movie series review is Busted. And I have Carl McSorley and Matt <sighs> Davies. Too many Matthews. Matt Connor, Matt Fairley, Matt Davies. Um, so anyway... Busted is a weird one for me personally. Now, I recently bought the VHS from German and it comes all very into this all over the place. It's a really bad cover. But it got released in Germany um, under the title Die Chanu Ten Ropi Von Six Ivala. Aye. And obviously, Busted in the UK. Busted are a massive band, just recently done a massive tour of the UK and the demand for Busted's crazy. So if you're going to say Busted in the UK, people are obviously going to think of the band. But if you said there's a movie between Corey Haim and Corey Feldman, okay. Now it's directed by Corey Feldman and Corey Haim pretty much goes missing throughout the film. He's nowhere to be seen, famously fired from the movie. This movie's bad, man. It's bad. Even a Feldman fan and a Haim fan, it's like if you want to do the top... Uh, the best and the worst of him and Feldman, this would be the bottom. It's it, it's just crazy. <laughs> it's, it's, but to see a release in the UK, I remember going on Global Video, and um, you know Global would get a lot of sell through stuff that wasn't for rental. So if you're going to get something that's rental, it's for rental, and then you might be able to buy it. But Global, from what I remember in concert, used to be like you wouldn't realize there was any windows in there let, let alone realize half the wall was actually window just blocked up by floor to ceiling um vhs columns but they obviously started to not get as much in dvd when dvd first came along you would have companies up and running and stuff like that so busted creeped out under avenue entertainment now cory film is on the front of the box and cory Haim name is on there but cory Haim is nowhere to be seen and as I say, it sporadically busts up. Now, there it is. I even think I've got another version of this. That's a slim box to do. So this is an interesting story I've got here. So yeah, there's even a slimmer box of it. Um, so that's released as well. So again, name checked, really crummy artwork. I think a bit of artwork, a bit of, a bit of love for that would have sold it a lot better. Them names would have bought it alone. It would have rented. Again, there you go. Now, I remember that, and I want to put them away. So I'll put the stuff away after I've used it in videos these days. I'm not getting to put the VHS up there. Um, I was in a charity shop. This is so fucking weird, mind. And again, telling the story of how you find these films and where you find them. Um, I was in a charity shop, and I was looking. And you know when you get the quad four ones? Now, do I have any quad fours here? Thought I had one, you know. I'm sure Fortune Hunters was one. Oh, I do, yeah, I do, yeah. So I was staring at a load of these on the shelf like that. Now this is a quad four um, DVDs where you've literally got no pictures on the discs. You have to flip them over. And Fortune Hunters, Corey Feldman's in there. No, ears on the front cover. You got Martians, Home, Go Home, John Travolta and the Boy in the Plastic Bubble. And then you've got John Cusack in Fa This Is My Father, which wasn't a bad film. Now, these are just really under-the-radar um, 
cropped up together, cropped up, cooped up together, and name checked, you know, artist name checked. I think this is my father, John Cusack, turns randomly up in a plane on the beach and then disappears. But he's the top build. I think it's James Khan wanting to go back to Ireland to find his heritage or whatever's going down there. So again, again, finding that, you know, fortune hunters for some. So, where am I going with this? Now, I remember about 15 years ago in a shop called Cash Converters, which was actually in the same place Titles Video Shop was, and them having a box set there, and they wanted something like £40 for it, and I'm like, no. <laughs> Not even as a Haim Feldman fan. No. <laughs> Not happening. Because, it's, again, it's a symbol of that. And I mentioned it to Brit because I was looking, and she was like, what are you looking at? And there was a bulk of like, them on a shelf, and I was like, okay, and then I went to this other shop and then I looked down. This other shop I don't normally go into. It's you know, it's sort of like the upper class side of the charity shops of concert. It's actually the shop next to Global when I think about it. It's like this new built estate. And there's a box set there. I was like, oh yeah, it was similar to that. And then I looked on the shelf and fuck my life. The next one along was this box set for five pounds. And I was like, well, I'm buying it now. So I bought that now. I couldn't believe it because I hadn't thought about this box set for about 10 years and lately glitches in the matrix um, you know I've been seeing people in Durham and then seeing them in Newcastle like half an hour later and thinking so random it's like you're buffering the wrong people or like you know there's been random stuff happening lately to me and there you go this box set was there in cash converters and it name checks Diane DeVito, Kiefer Sutherland, Kirsty Allen, Michael Keaton, Woody Allen, Brooke Shields, David Swimmer, John Cleese, Graham Chaplin, no idea, Michael Payne and Tim Brooke uh, Taylor and no other looks, no looks, but yeah, in there is Busted is in there and a fuckload of films that you may have not ever seen, so yeah there this box set's gonna live on that shelf by the way so we've got busted there so i'm just gonna have a look at this as i say there's no look at the two corys danny devito's face is huge on there at some point 18 rated oh this one's old there can't have been many of these made i mean how much you would pay for them. but again dvds makes total sense so we've got the delivery boys and the godson um yeah ronnie dangerfield in there lou Faringo as well so there you go mary van peebles is in delivery boys they're both 18 rated um next up we've got picking up the pieces with david swimmer and Kiefer sutherland and woolly allen i mean come on cheech martin's in there as well then i can't even the perfectionist that looks like a, a french dude that one hasn't even been opened uh that last 1984 show and do not adjust your set Obviously, Eric Idle and a few of them. Then we've got Prince of Bel Air, Kirsty Allen, and we've got uh, Busted, the Corey Hame, Corey Film. And that would be on that desk over. So, yeah. Nice find, yeah. And they're literally just like the chops of the back of the boxes of the other ones. So, yeah. Far Out Man as well. Tommy Chong. C. Thomas Howell. I haven't even put a space between Thomas and Howell. Um, and then we've got Sam Bottoms in In and Out. Danny DeVito, I'm Waiting No More. K uh, Brooke Shields, I'm Almost the Perfect Bank Robbery. The Firecracker, Holly Hunter, Tim Robbins. I thought there were Tim Robbins on the front. Jimmy Nail, wow, the best of the Just Ask for Diamond. He's not even on the front cover. Never one that's not opened. The Wackiest Wagon Train in the West. And all the way up way. Yeah, and just looking. This looks like the smut version. Patricia Arquette's in there. So essentially, there's a Corey Haim and Patricia Arquette reunited. I'm pretty they're all the boys. The outtake's already been filmed because there you go. Touch and go, Michael Keaton. C. Thomas Howell is back again. And there we go. So as a light to the dread on the camera because Stephen's been a bad boy and I charged it. I'd like to share that. That is now part of my Corey Haim, Corey Feldman collection. That box set. And there's a one outtake, but yeah, see you in the outtakes. Hello everyone. And you're on time when you finish scratching, okay? Okay, I'll wait.
You done? Excellent. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Goodbye for now.